Welcome back to another Power BI video. If you like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Q&A Explorer. This feature was just released for the April 2018 update, and it's a really cool feature that, allow, uh, that adds a lot of interactivity to your report. So let's go ahead and get started. Since it just released yesterday, we're going to have to ensure that we enable it in the preview features. So if we click on Options, uh, let's come to Preview Features and make sure Q&A is checked. You're going to have to restart your Power BI after you check that to get it to work. So Q&A Explorer can be launched by either clicking on an image, a shape, or a button. Buttons were just added uh, in the April 2018 update as well. We are going to stick to images since I have one in the top left here. So if you click on it and highlight it, there is now this action right here. This used to be link, but they've changed it to action since now it has a couple of things that it can do. If we click on and come down, we have the options of back and bookmark that were already there. And we have this added Q&A functionality. So just by enabling that, we can control click this and bring up the Q&A Explorer. So this allows us to ask questions about our data and basically um, select some predefined queries about our report that we can store over here on the left and have people use later. So let's go and add, uh, ask a couple questions about our data. So first of all, let's do um, count of, do fact internet sales by English product category name. So this is basically just the number of transactions by category. Let's go ahead and add that. Let's add a couple more. We'll do freight by order date. Okay, add that. And one more, we'll do sales amount by English country region name. So basically how much sales by each country. So that's awesome. So now we click add on that and we have three predetermined queries that you can just click on and see the data itself. So if we click save and close, now all of those queries are saved. If we come back here and control click, we still see these and the end user will see these as well. So if we think that there is something that's really worth seeing that our end user should definitely see, we can just set this up and have them just click on what they want to see. So that's really awesome. There's a little bit more functionality to the Q&A Explorer. Uh, you can show entire report pages in the Q&A Explorer if you set it up. So we have this report page. This was originally set up for uh, the report page tooltips from last month, but it's a valid report page. Um, and able, uh, in order to enable Q&A, we have to click on the back of the page and come to the page information. And there's now this Q&A toggle. So we'll click on for that. And by default, that brings up this little box here. And you can just throw in keywords that you want to associate with phrases in the Q&A Explorer. So for example, I'm just gonna call this transactions. And maybe I'll just call this some random like report two, just to show you that it'll pick up on it in the Q&A Explorer. So once we throw in those keywords, let's go back to our overview tab and bring up the Q&A Explorer again. So now, if we search for transactions, you see that report page. Or similarly, if we type in now uh, report two, if I can spell it correctly, report two, you see this, uh, this report page. So that's awesome. So if we click add, we now have these predetermined queries that now act whenever we click on them. So it's a really cool functionality. I think you can get a lot of use out of it. So give it a try. Um, let me know if you like it in the comment section. If you like this video, make sure you su subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.